Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you have beautiful Hyundai and this is a beautiful Hyundai in our area with blue sky. I hope you can see up there. But anyway, this morning the temperature went down quite low. It was 6 degrees Celsius and I think tomorrow morning as well. Uh, so yeah, the, the weather is kind of changing so, so quick. Anyway, this video I'm going to do some kind of laboring job in the garden. First, let me turn around. If you remember, this area I have two bee vines of kiwi berries. Uh, you can see the vines there. I already chopped them uh, off, I think, uh, two weeks ago. So now you can see the leaves on dry and shivel and um, their vine browse as well because um, after this season, I decided to chop them off and just kind of plant my fig tree in those area because um, I just have more berries this year than some other years and I planted them around I mean, the vines around four years ago uh, but this year uh, I did notice there are so many fruit flies on the kiwi berries I was so disappointed about that I didn't think the berry quite small like that and attract the fruit fly yeah I never heard about that anyway and for me I think it's quite hard to to net the berries and to bake them as well because they don't grow like the you know the whole bunch on together they more grow, they spread around the berries so it's very hard to net them and and to uh, let me to um, consider about the care for them laboring and watering them and things like that you know it's not worth my effort meanwhile I got two potted fig trees in kind of same this area they are in container for several years and me and my husband we do love big so I decided to chop the berries uh, you know the kiwi berry vice down and two uh, almond tree in front of the of the berries as well or the vine as well let me turn around over here because uh, uh, let, me, uh, let me show you this is one of the almond tree and one over there it's quite bright at the moment I'm sorry about my eyes <laughs> like half of opening uh, yeah so I planted them I think four years ago as well and every year I was hoping I could have some almond nuts uh, and um, this season at the beginning of season as well I net the nuts and after that we got rain and they just got moldy and so it disappointed me again so I'm going to dig them out even that I, I talk I think in, in in one of the videos that I still love them because they bring a lot of uh, spring uh, interest because they, their blooms are just so gorgeous in the spring but that's okay I uh, I willing to sacrifice that and uh, I will put my fig tree in this area and the fig tree can have more room to grow they will grow big and we can have a lot of figs and I love dry figs as well uh, yeah anyway it's quite messy at the moment you can see so many vines there a lot of brown twigs there I need to, to chop all of them down I'm going to use their leaves and the small tricks, uh, or tricks though because I can put them at the base of the plant or uh, especially in my potted rose uh, like lately we got some kind of birds they keep sticking around my potted roses because they're looking for the worms so I'm going to put those tag, like, underneath the uh, under, under like, kind of at the base of the potted rose and then they kind of on the way so the the, the birds can dig them, them up you know I think yeah they just keep digging about my roses and why I do want worms stay in my potted container as well because I bring the nutrients um, to my plants anyway um, let me turn around and show you the big uh, tree that I got over here so this is the two potted fig trees I got um, in this container I think three years now and this fix that I grew from the cutting I did show you in one of the video a long long time ago I think when I started the channel maybe well uh, years ago I think but anyway they're doing very well I do have one a uh, fig tree in my backyard, um, I mean the other side of the backyard, just behind the trail of the grapevine. That one I planted in the ground and it grew so big, so big, and there's so many fruit on that one. Anyways, these uh, trees that I have been inhabiting, a few, you know, few figs here and there, here and there, not as much nice one in the ground, so I want to plant them in the the spot over there and they will give me more fix next year and I did have it some yesterday as well and I still have 
you know, some decay này on on the verge of the ripening. I'm not sure you can see the brown color here. This is black um, Jonah. Um, I never got, <laughs> you know, the pronunciation it correctly, but I hope you can see the brown color here. It's just ripening just here. Just here. Uh, yeah, I. I do, I do love them and this variety that's so sweet and so juicy and I really, really love them. Alright, let me just get this job done. I don't know how long it's gonna take me because I need to saw off the, the almond trees over here as well. I haven't cleaned up the black uh, berries by yet because I do need to, show, uh, to chop the old can down and keep the new can. You can see the new can. I let them just fall all over here next to the pond over here. And the pond, the water getting cloudy again. Uh, I think I'm thinking I'm going to turn this pond into the garden bed so I can grow something more productive or something better than next, uh, ne uh, than next, next year. You know, you know oh, I mean better than the other year that I got the, I got the fish in here. And don't get me wrong, I do love the fountain. I love the sound of peaceful and quiet in the garden, but uh, I, I want something different now because the pond I, is quite high, high maintenance to keep the, keep the water clear. Oh, by the way, at the apple tree city royal gara, I took the nettings off. I got only a few foot left over here. Uh, this one, yes, yeah, still hanging on. A few little one here, only two. I did not bother to net them, so I will keep an eye on them. Maybe I will should net them, right? Uh, but yeah, this one much bigger. I think this one will ripen very soon. Uh, but here I did trim the tree, and the tree uh, looking good actually. Yeah, very happy with that. Fixed love water uh, in my area a few years lately. I haven't, you know, seen any sun damage from the victory because we so far we haven't reached to, you know, 38 37 degrees Celsius lately. I mean, a few years lately, but I remember in the first year when I planted my victory and it was 39 40 degrees Celsius and their leaves or it leaves it got burned um, yeah so if, I think if you live in a very hot climate I think it could be better if it got shelter from the hot afternoon sun and fix um, love uh, quite rich soil a lot of organic matter because they can hold the moisture in as well and give it nutrient you know to produce uh, the food um, if the soil too poor and not enough water and you won't have much of food but also the uh, but also the uh, food you know, actually the thick inside they won't be as juicy and sweet uh, normally the fish they don't have much of pets or diseases they very very low maintenance actually but you do need to give it a pool you know like 
sometimes example like the winter early spring you keep it just like pruned um, I think also it depends on how big you want to let your fig uh, to grow as well so certainly I don't want my fig to, uh, to grow too big I want to able to net them or back them or easier for me to have it the food as well um, yeah I think that is actually uh, please do let me know if you live in the very hot climate and where do you plan to fix tree? Will they, uh, will they get burnt? And if they are going to get burnt, please do let me know. I'm just curious about that. And here's a little little one. Oh, let's go to the other side of my. Um, uh, oh, oh, I am. Um, did I mention that? You know, when I dug the holes of, of you know to put the fig tree in, and three of them actually, I didn't put any compost and you know at, um, at the bottom of the holes. I just kind of like. Uh, you know, to scrape all the soil up and then to put the, the root bone of the plant in uh, because um, I read, you know, or also I, I got several people, uh, the gardener, gardeners, they mentioned that if you put too much or a lot of nutrients in the house, then their root not going to, you know, send out or reaching through the nutrient, reaching through the, the water and um, uh, if you just you know just top up a like, few bucket of of compost and they will be happy but just, uh, try not to put you know the compost or nutrient like, in the hole otherwise they will just stay in the hole they're not just spreading out to reach into nutrient or water hi I'm back actually today is the fourth day since I planted the fig trees so originally I was going to plant two fig trees but after that I still have another little fig tree that it had been con little container actually for a long time I think you will really see that the pots were really or the plants really pot about a uh, poor thing and it it does have some no foot actually and I have been you know very diligent watering it because I do want to have some fig for that little plants as well but anyway on that day I was exhausted there sometime I thought that maybe I continue to do you know to to do that job for another day uh, but at the end I did it and I think I have to tell you I haven't do, uh, done any physical um, jobs like that for a long time and I think the hard party, I have to um, dig, you know, the crown or the, the root bones of the kiwi berry owls and their roots quite large and you could see that the vibe was huge so that means their roots really really big I have to use a sucker tear to cut quite a few of roots around it and after that I have to dug the giant holes <laughs> you know two big holes to fit two potted or very large potted fig trees in those and there the holes of the area is full of their roots as well so I just have to cut bits by a bit I'm not sure in the video I could show you you know clearly or not but anyway a lot of hard work and yeah my back was so sore my leg was so sore <laughs> I think I'm getting out um, yeah anyway, anyway I'm so pleased that um, I, uh, I I did it and uh, now on the fix in the ground so it could be it be good, good so I don't have to you know always have to water them in the container like to a, or to a fit season actually it, it has been very hot in the summer um, anyway of those three fig trees I grew them from the cutting and another fig tree another side of my um, yard I will show you actually that tree still has a lot of fix on uh, I will come out to that color and show you so all of them i grew from the cutting i just a view video um how i grew them for cutting so if you like you check it out i will put the link uh, in the description below under this video um yeah anyway uh, a lot of talking i will turn the camera around and you can see how the fix doing so here there are two large pot of fig tree i planted the those over there kind of like against the you know the structure over here so yeah so now this area just kind of like decorative uh, decorative um but it's a trellis but uh you know the blackberry vine over there i'm going to try to train the cane along this area as well i don't know how far it's going to reach but they can go 
quite quite long. Um, anyway, so one pot of fig tree on the garden bed and the other one on that gravel over there. The one on the gravel, they I think you know the soil very dry, so their wood didn't kind of like going down wood into the soil. But the one on the garden bed, their roots can go went to the you know went to the um, pots and go to uh, new root in in the soil. So I could see that the the pot of the that fig tree the soil much uh, moisture. Anyway, uh, so they doing very well. I have been watering them mostly every day actually. So I only skip only one day. I think the day before yesterday I didn't water the two fig tree, but the one over there I water it every day because their soil just so so. Uh, oh, I mean, the soil over there is just so so dry because over here I and let me stand back. Let me show you the scenery in this area. So the whole big hedge of my neighbor on this side, you can see that they take a lot of moisture. And then the other side of the neighbor, this giant hedge tree over here and hedge tree over there, take a lot of you know moisture in this area. And they do feel sorry for the roses in this area as well, because I'm sure they're so kind of going to their garden, the garden bed as well. But anyway, the seem, the rose seem doing okay, but you know, I just don't like the other tree just taking nutrient of from the neighbor tree taking nutrient from my garden or from my plants. Um, yeah, anyway, a lot of twigs and branches. I just, you know, I chop the tree, almond trees there. I just, you know, tuck them over there. And um, I'm not sure what to do with them in the future, but maybe in the future, they I just chop them, you know, to put them in the compost uh, and let me show you so the little fig tree I do have some food here you can see that and <laughs> more over here as well yeah the tiny but have quite few fig there and I, I this one I plant or I grew it from the cutting at the same time as the other one I repot them as well the same time but this one has been staying container for a long long time so it doesn't grow at mix like the one over here, you can see that what a different like if you repot them in time and they got you know, more nutrient, more water, and they grow much bigger. Anyway, uh, this one have a have quite long cane over here. You can see the cane quite long over here. Maybe a uh, few more months, I mean, late winter, early spring, I will cut it, cut it down around here, around the high over here, and I want the, the plant in it push out a little bit or branch it out a little bit not like go straight up like that uh yeah i but you know the blackberry bushes over there that could be my neck task you might see that in in the other video as well we'll see if i uh if i have energy to film that e video you know because you know when you film video it takes a lot of time as well you have a talk you have to like move the camera around and of course when do you do need that take a look uh, near the snow down that the job you want to get it done uh yeah i have a uh, uh some fig here i did pick one i did show you a few days ago the one that brownish color now actually it uh it ripened and me and my husband share a half inch oh look i got another brown one over here do you see that they're turning color over here all right let's go to the other side of my yard that gives you a tool actually and I want to show you the other fig tree that you know I grew uh, the grew it from the cutting at the same time and uh, I planted it in the ground uh, kind of like a years ago actually instead that instead of uh, the other tree that stay in the container and you can see how much it how much it has it grows it's you see a lot of roses look at that they're beautiful oh by the way i did plant a garlic i planted 140 kilos of garlic uh, so mostly the uh, in this garden bed and the other i think the 40 kilos in the other half of the garden bed actually but not on the other side you see the water uh running at the moment the drip running uh running i'm sorry oh look, look at the apple the apple getting choppier and bigger this is a pink lady yeah, anyway, this is my mom gardens. Look at the dahlia going crazy. Look at that. And look at the um, heaven on the rose. This is beautiful. Look at it. Wow. 
Oh my, right, the area I just show you. Oh, this is nice tour for you actually. So this is the loofah I just show you. Not long ago, I got a lot of the baby loofah at the moment. Do you see that? Yeah, they're growing, growing. Yeah, but I can see the beans getting very tired. Oh, by the way, peas, snow peas, sugar snappy. I did put the twigs and branches for them to climb on. Oh, wait, oh, by the way, yesterday I did have it. Three actually, three large or oh, very big loofah. Yeah, anyway, I got baby loofah here as well. All right, this is the blueberry area. And they're looking really good. But here, you see, this is the fig tree. Oh, do you think I have any ripened fig in there? So I put the, the net over it <laughs> to protect it from the fruit fly. You know, this year I did notice our tomato got a fruit fly as well. At the beginning of the season, I did not see any fruit fly. But around mid late summer, I saw fruit fly in the tomatoes. All right, you can see the fig in the well and it can grow so big. Oh, that's one, maybe a ripened fig. Let me open the net. You know, the fig got delicious. I love this variety. I don't have the other variety to compare, but the type that they, is green, you know, I try it several times. They not as sweet as this variety that I have over here. Okay. If I can, if I can, this one is soft, but maybe not as sweet yet. Should I still pick it? Hmm, maybe I leave it a little bit few more. I think it would be nicer if I just leave it, you know, until I just leave it up and just, you know, the, how would say the cord over here just fell off very easy. I don't need to pull it. That is when the fix really, really sweet. Yeah, you can see I have a lot of fix here. Look, a lot of fix. And the tree doing really well. This area I intended for it to grow quite large and tall because in the future, you can see so many fix. Because in the future, I want to eat to bring some shade for the garden bed over here. Because the garden bed over here, I'm going to plant few bushes of blueberries in this garden bed. So I still have few color lilies in this garden bed. I will dig them up, the divide the rhizome, and then uh, move few bushes of blueberries in here. Example, few over there. This one's still very small because you know, the bush still very small, so I just leave in the container. But I got a few, this one, very big over here. This one from a lady, and she gave to me. But I still have another bush over here as well. And I think it could be better if I put in the in the garden bed. I have to choose the big one though, because yeah, they could do better if I just put in the proper garden bed for it. So I intend to let the fig go big and tone to bring some shade for the blue baby bushes. And let me give you give the update about the grape vine. See that I didn't have any grapes. Or oh, me and my friend tried some little, little grapes, you know, from the bunches. Before there were so many, but the bird had been eating a lot of them. Okay, finished them actually. But yeah, they did enjoy it. But we did not have much at all. We yeah, rarely have uh, some actually. Anyway, not sure to do with the grape vine yet, but I'm going to trim, you know, a lot of vine on the top of it as well. Because even I, I leave it on for next year, then I can't be able to have it the, the grapes anyway. Like, unlike the other year, I got few bunches. There were 10 bunches, I think, uh, because they were, you know, very short and I was able to net it. But this year, just hill on the top, but also they got fungal disease, they did turn black and brown. Yeah, anyway, I'm not sure what to do with the grape vine yet. That is, guys, for the video today. I hope that you enjoyed this video. I'm sorry I show you from planting fig tree to different area and I hope you enjoy it and this is the sad you know beans bushes here they kind of finishing for the season now and yeah until next year then all right guys thank you again and I hope to see you next video bye bye